good morning. It is Sunday, Soulful Sunday, and I'm coming on live to talk about all things related to self-care. I'm Melinda from Hope When There Was None, and I did post something recently about flashbacks and how to deal with them, how to cope with them, and some coping methods as well. And I had gotten great response on uh, Instagram, my IG feed, from uh, Hoop Kit Fox in Midlife Finding My Fit. And uh, so they had suggested... I like a, a physical healing toolbox. I actually carried one with me in my car and in my purse, a little portable one. But this is what their suggestions were. So something physical to help you ground yourself and connect. So a suggestion was a letter from a friend, a photo, a gift from a family member. Also something for your sensory that would be touch, something that brings you comfort, something soft, maybe a blanket or a stuffed animal, something for your effect. Something to smell. I was going to say the technical word for it, but it's too early for that. Something you could smell, which would be maybe an essential oil, sachet, perfume, cologne, peppermint, lavender. Those are both very calming. Something that calms you when you when you smell it, for sure. But also what you when you hear it, that could be a playlist, a song, something that brings you back. Uh, there are healing tones, Tibetan song bowls, and so on. And also something maybe that you can taste, and this is the good part, this is what I like, that would be dark chocolate. That gives you that dopamine boost. Peppermint, citrus, or walnuts also are mood boosters too. I also wanted to include to keep maybe a tissue or a hanky handy as well in case you have those breakthrough moments or triggering moments where you need a good cry, and there's nothing wrong with that. Herbal teas, that might be something to where you get home or work that you have, but I used to carry little tea bags with me, things that I like, chamomile, uh, peppermint. So there are different types of blends that you can have too. My favorite's a hippie blend. It comes from my favorite little coffee shop here in my area. It's just got a, a great blend of different things and that would be at the Willow Switch. But also maybe a coloring book or a sketchbook so you can journal, art journal your thoughts or just doodle. Journaling in general helps to get those triggers, those thoughts, those memories down on paper. Maybe a fidget toy, some sort of trinket that you can play with, worry people, crystals, silly putty, uh, Play-Doh that can help as well. It's a great distraction for you. Also to have a, um, I used to like bubbles and I've mentioned this before to help calm the breathing down, especially when I was having panic attacks. Um, just to kind of find my center and breathe. If you don't have bubbles, that's okay. Pretend that you have, you know, dandelions. You're making yourself a dandelion wish. So pretend you have a dandelion in your hand and just maybe close your eyes if you want to, but just pretend you're blowing, making a thousand wishes. Keep doing it if you have to. Pretend bag, if you, old thing. I used to carry grocery bags, the little lunch bags in my car as well. So pretend you have a bag or maybe you have a real bag and breathe slowly into that as well. If you don't use your hand, pretend that your hand is your bag and just breathe into that. So those are a few suggestions for you. Again, physical toolbox, you can keep that in the car with you when you're traveling and you need something. I would do affirmation cards on index cards, carry those with me too. A little pad of paper, maybe you can't carry a big journal in your purse, but a small pad of paper and that pen can definitely help you. Well, I hope you, these tips do help you. What suggestions do you do for coping when you are in that moment where you need some healing. I hope you take these tips with you, but I'd love to know yours as well. Good morning, Leela. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. Bye.